away from politics now, a man on a mission to kill himself ended up punishing an entire neighborhood and a whole lot of businesses when the fire he set off caused extensive damage. After a domestic quarrel with his wife, the man allegedly let the gas run in his house before lighting a match. The ensuing explosion saw his house, neighboring structures and businesses raised to the ground. Timothy Otiena reports. <laughs> Residents of this area near Ayany Estate in the country's largest slums are busy responding to a fire. They have been battling these flames for the better part of the morning. The instigator of the fire, now deceased, has been identified by residents as one George Odiambo. An early morning quarrel with the mother of his four children went too far. It is believed that he tried to stab her. The wife escaped the attack and according to witnesses, the man then locked himself up, turned up the nozzle of his gas cooker and lit a matchstick, blowing himself up. It is shocking. It is shocking. Most of to me, I'm not happy with what George uh, Odiambo, Duanko, has taken. It's pathetic. It's, it's, it's wrong. But it's not only family and friends who have been affected by this bizarre act by George. Business people here are counting losses as well. The close proximity of structures here has perhaps inflated the damage caused. Beatrice Mutia assesses the remains of her shop. The flames did not spare the structure located just meters from the burnt house. I think you the police took the body to the morgue shortly after midday. The man's family too distraught to talk to us. The mid-morning incident has caused losses to both residential and business premises here, but behind all the confusion, whispers continue as to what could have led a man to take away his own life in such a manner. Now this is the exact spot where the early morning fire began and even though right now the flames have died out, what hasn't is the shock of the residents and business people here of a fire that has not only cost them a life but also property amounting to thousands of shillings. Timothy Otieno, KTN News, Nairobi.